Um, my lab here in the Gurdon Institute is focusing on how cells respond to and repair DNA damage within the cells of our body. We're interested in this from an academic perspective, but for many years we've also been very interested in the idea that out of this new knowledge that we're generating, there could be therapeutic opportunities for new drugs, for example for cancer, but also for other diseases. So the developments uh, that we're talking about today relate to a brand new anti-cancer drug called Limparza, also known as Alaparib. And what this new drug does is work against uh, serious ovarian cancer through a mechanism that has not been exploited for before in the clinic. The basis of this new drug is to target DNA repair pathways within human cells. So it turns out that every cell in our body is sustaining DNA damage and that damage needs to be recognized and it needs to be repaired because if the damage isn't repaired, the cell, the cells of our body, die. The DNA is the genetic blueprint which needs to be kept intact. Now the way that works within our cells is that every cell is sustaining DNA damage, but there are certain proteins in the cell, molecular policemen if you like, whose job is to carry out surveillance, looking for DNA damage, and when it occurs, to recognize the damage and then repair it. PARP stands for poly ADP ribose polymerase. So that's a rather complicated name, but in reality, what PARP does is fairly simple. It is a molecular policeman. It's a protein that carries out surveillance activities within the cell, not normally doing very much, but when DNA damage occurs, PARP binds to and recognizes the DNA damage. And then, like any good policeman, I guess, sets off the emergency services. And those emergency services are the DNA repair pathways that PARP recruits to sites of DNA damage to mediate the repair. What this drug does is take advantage of a vulnerability, a weakness in cancer cells that isn't present in normal cells. And very simply what this means is that normal cells in these patients have two ways of repairing DNA damage. The PARP inhibitor, by binding a protein called PARP, inhibits one of those pathways, but the normal cell still has the other pathway so they can survive. The cancer cells in these patients, however, lack this backup pathway, so they only have the PARP pathway. And so the cancer cells, when they're treated with a PARP inhibitor, this takes away their only way of repairing DNA damage. And that's how the drug kills the cancer cells, but not the normal cells of the patient. So um, this news represents a, a wonderful step forward uh, for certain ovarian cancer patients with these hereditary mutations in BRCA1 or BRCA2. But clinicians and researchers such as myself are also very, very excited by the fact that other opportunities seem to exist. This backup DNA repair pathway is also defective in other cancers such as breast cancer and also others. So hopefully over the next year or few years, hopefully we'll be seeing the development of PARP inhibitors against a wider set of cancers.